Once you have the right Malaysian ingredients, you really have no excuse not to cook Malaysian food because you do your prep and then really, from the time you chop your vegetables to the time that you serve the dish, it's, you know, maybe maximum 30 minutes. It's getting easier to make uh, Malaysian food at home with the variety of spice paste that we have. You do need the right sauces, the right pastes, and the right seasonings. Once you have those, it'll all fall into place. I think it's a lot about educating people, showing people that, you know, there are some very simple dishes like noodles, you only need a few ingredients and you can be making some authentic dishes um, at home. The reactions from the public have been brilliant. I mean, everyone is really loving the new kind of flavours of Malaysian food and then they're going off to buy the ingredients from the shops and, you know, they're telling me that they're going to make it at home. So uh, I'm really excited. Chicken satay one, because that looks lovely. We've gone for the beef grandang because that looks lovely and um, the chef come me into doing it the easy way. You can find a good amount of Malaysian greens at good supermarkets these days. What you can't get, you'll be able to get online grocers that will be able to deliver Malaysian ingredients directly to your home. I'm planning on cooking some mee goreng noodles and some chicken rendang. Also satay. Satay is such a popular dish here. So there are so many dishes. Um, char kway teow, that's one of my favourites. So all those dishes, you know, they are fairly easy to make and um, people just love them. Really good. What did you think? Did you like really, them? Really, really like them. So bringing Malaysia home means to me that people are going to be cooking Malaysian food in their homes and just making it nice and fun and easy for them.